All right, just got home from Sedona and Ninja Steam Oven Air Fryer. It echoes in here, everybody. Oh, yeah. You're probably not going to be able to hear me that well because I had extra pizza dough coming home from Sedona, so I'm turning it into like a loaf of bread. We're going to see how it comes out. But yeah, here's the Ninja Speedy Rapid Cooker and Air Fryer. Ninja Speedy 760 watt, six quart cooking spot, it's a non stick cooking spot, and multifunctional crisper tray. Two positions. Let's flip it. Right. Let's see, what do we got here? Alright, so basically it does everything from just, oh, Speedy Mail Builder. Oh, I gotta check that out. You know, also, if they had an app. Ooh, this looks really yummy. I don't know what that is, but that looks really yummy. The air fryer that cooks the entire meal in 15 minutes, all in one pot. Mm. All right, let's see. Setting up a rapid cooker machine. Add liquid to the bottom of the pot, place the crisper trays in the elevated position in the pot, close the lid, flip the smart switch up. That must be that smart switch. Set the temp and time, press start, stop to begin cooking. Let's see here. Setting up an air fryer recipe. I have to check this out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look. Very colorful. That looks good too. I'm not a big shrimp person because I don't think I've ever made a recipe with shrimp. This looks, I'm going to see what that is. I want to see what that is. So let's take it out of the box and take a look, see? Unfortunately, I don't know if I have anything in the house to make. Plus it's like 6 o'clock on a Sunday night. Gotta go to work tomorrow. Gonna be a good day. Ooh, this is quite big. Uh, Try to. All right. Let's get rid of the box. Give it looks and has secret ingredients is for the speedy meal, steaming convection. It's, uh, huh, not sure if it takes a bigger footprint or not. Oh, it's lighter. Oh, it's much lighter. Oh, it's much, much lighter. I just got interrupted. My neighbor wanted me for a second. Um, so flip up for rapid cooking, flip down for air fryer stove top. Um, it appears... Not to be negative or anything, but it's the same thing as the smart lid. It's got steamy meals, steaming crisp, steaming bake, steam proof, air fried, bake, roast, broil, dehydrate, sear, saute, slow cook, and sous, sous vide. It's a different shape and it's lighter. Oh, you know what it doesn't do? It does not pressure cook. So that's the difference. This is the best. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just a different shape. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the, I'm assuming this is probably for the meat and like the tomatoes. I'm thinking of the pasta dish I make. Ugh. Ugh. Alrighty. Alright, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, let's open this. I see. Here's your nonstick bowl. So you can actually get a sizable um, roast in there. I'm just looking at it. I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to make. I'm assuming this sits. Nope. Oh, they flip out. Cool, look at this. Look. All right, so they flip out. That's what holds it. So for storage, it fits in. Hold on. There we go. Look at that. So that fits right in. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to pop this over to the sink because it has to be washed. If you want to see how it fits in here, though. Super. Wow. 
I can't wait to use this. So that has to go. I'm not going to do it tonight because it's getting late and I'm getting tired. Um, yeah, except the same thing, the heating element, the coil. It looks, it's more spread apart. Over here, I'll show you. I just made bread in here. Can you guys see that? See how this is, oh, I'll touch it. It's just, I just used it. It's closer together. So that's one difference. Oh, that has to be cleaned, icky. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah. It's kind of nice because it's much lighter because the smart one's very heavy. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go through the recipe booklet tonight. Let's see. And I like this. I have to admit, I like the color coding. I do. I really like that. Um, this looks really good. The Buddha bowl. I love Buddha bowls. That's what that is. That's that Mediterranean bowl. And Asian inspired. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So you basically pick. Pick a base, whether it's rice, quinoa, risotto, lentils. Oh, rice cauliflower too. So you can make some like low carb stuff. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some. Uh, I do have salmon in the freezer. Um, I'm just browsing to see what they have here. Pork chops, chicken breast. Mmm, beef meatballs or plant-based meatballs. Oh, do I have any? I've got plant-based sausages to use up. I should do that, but that's pretty cool. I like that. And the owner's manual. You should always read that. And then the cookbook. They used a bright color, yellow and blue, for this. So I'm going to browse through this tonight, because I'm not doing it tonight. I admit it. I just got home from Sedona, and Sedona is amazing, by the way. It is crazy busy there, though. So, turkey meatloaf with cheesy rice cauliflower. Oh, chicken cordon bleu. Mmm. Creamy spinach pasta. Ziti, alfredo, chicken sack, whole milk. That looks good. I'm definitely, yeah, this is... This is definitely on the list, big time. I haven't made that since my mother passed. Yeah, I'm gonna go food. Wow. The chicken broccoli alfredo. Definitely. I have chicken. I got pasta. I got. Oh, I don't have alfredo. Shoot. I might have to go to the store tomorrow after work. I need dawn anyway. All right, everybody. Hello. Ah. Phone. Okay. So I just got home from work. Well, not just. What time is it? It's about 6 o'clock. It's 5.54. We're going to give this a whirl tonight because I stopped off and got some Alfredo sauce because I didn't have any in the house. And holy mackerel, it's like 4 bucks for this jar of Alfredo sauce. Ridiculous. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do a quick recipe with this. There it is. Because it's... Chicken broccoli alfredo. <clears throat> I am going to do a few changes at the end. I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. I just, and see, I want to throw tomatoes in it too. So, yeah, because I have tomatoes in the house and I just want to add a little bit more veg just to give it a bit more flavor because the alfredo sauce is good. However, the more veg you add, the better it is. So we're going to stick with this recipe. I'm defrosting some chicken breast really, really fast. But we can go over the machine just a bit. I noticed this in the back. It's got one of these uh, moisture catchers. And it clips on right in the back right here. I like this one because it, it um, actually clips in nicely compared to the one lid. Um, it's much, much lighter than the smart lid. I can say that much, 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 much lighter. And I wash these and I just put them in here just for show. Also, what I've noticed, well, I pointed that out yesterday. The burner is different than on the smart lid. And this is like stainless steel. It appears to be stainless steel. So I think cleaning this might actually be easier. And the fan right there, I can actually take it with my fingers and it seems more sturdier than the ones in the Ninja Foodies. Whether this is right or not, I don't, this is just, 
This is just my personal opinion, my observations from these appliances. And here's this thing. This reminds me of the, this is similar to what they use in the dual burner, the dual burner, the dual drawer uh, air fryer. I put this in here, I washed it. The whole thing's nonstick. It has a measuring device on the side, which is actually quite nice. So I'm just gonna leave that in. The cord is pretty long. I'm going to leave the smart lid over there. We're going to cook right here tonight. I just have to oh, let's put it back to where it was. Ah, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. There. Just shut the lid. Um, let's see. Turn it on. Yeah, I can honestly sit here and say everybody has their own personal preference. The smart lid... I, I like buttons. I know, I know. I just like, I like the first grill that came out with the buttons that, um, I don't know what you want to call that, but the touch, the touch, I don't like it. If I had buttons, I'm much quicker with the buttons and just, I don't like. If they had the Ninja Foodie one lid smart lid with the buttons, I would like it so, so much more. I, not that I dislike it, it's just personal preference. And let's see, we're on. I'm just going to pick this up just a bit. Oh, I see. Okay, so this goes down just like this. Ah. Steam Chris. Hold on. I just want to look at this. This is the first time I'm playing with it. Speedy Meals. Temp. Time. So how do you get over here? No. Oh, it's that button. Ha! It's this thing. So this switch, let me zoom back out just a bit. There we go. This switch right here changes it from side to side. Watch. That's air fry stove top, rapid cooker. And then this takes it up and down and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep it on speedy meals because that's what we're doing tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that down there like this, shut it off, and we're gonna go over and we're gonna prep some food. We're gonna follow along with the recipe. We're making the chicken broccoli Alfredo. So it's asking for a half a box of ziti pasta or fettuccine. I picked up rigatoni's. That should be a-okay. One jar of Alfredo sauce, two cups of water or stock. So there's two cups of water. I need more of this. I'm almost out. It's about two teaspoons. You don't have to be exact because I'm just using this just to add a bit more flavor to the uh, dish. That I think. Just going to whisk this around in the water. All right, that's good. We're going to go ahead and add... This is, the, this is the only thing I had to choose from today. This is a homestyle Alfredo, uh, Prego. This is like uber expensive up here. It smells pretty good. So this is gonna be the second brand that I've tried. This is, seems thicker. So I am gonna add a smidge more. I'm gonna go get um, some milk or half and half. Then I'm gonna pour some right in just like a tablespoon into that jar. Okay, we're just gonna whisk this all together. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and add half a, half a pound of pasta. I think that's about half. A few more. We're gonna say that's half. Okay, next up is, oh, you're supposed to put the broccoli in there too. Oh, okay, so I don't have frozen broccoli florets. I'm actually using these, um, these are actually fresh ones. So we're just gonna see what happens. Using what I have, just gonna put that right on there. Huh, this is interesting. Place that right in there. Next up, we're gonna take this tray here, make sure the legs are out. And we're gonna put it right there. And we're gonna put the chicken on top. I tried to defrost this as, oh, these are the chicken tenders, perfect because they're like frozen. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pick them apart. I'm gonna put it right here and just 
Because as you guys can see, these are frozen tenders. I'm just going to put them just like this. It's going to be a good experiment because this is a smaller piece, so it should cook in the allotted time, even though some of these pieces are frozen. It should be A-OK -okay because I did this before, and it actually came out pretty good. But no, I'll put that one there. And I picked up more of these Wild Wonder tomatoes. Let me rinse some of these off. I really like the, it adds like a, it adds like a bunch of flavor, color. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of these. Whoa. Okay. They touched the chicken, so they are staying in here. <laughs> just going to put them in there just like that. And where's my spray bottle? It's weird cooking over here. <clears throat> just going to spray the chicken and I'm spraying everything else as well. And the tomatoes. All right, we're going to add salt and pepper. And I'm making this meal tonight, too, because uh, Chris got stuck at work. She's a fellow traveler. She got stuck. Well, I don't want to say stuck. Well, she did kind of get stuck. Uh, somebody called in, so she had to pick up the person's call. So I figured, well, I might as well make dinner tonight. Salt over the shoulder. Now, I'm debating what seasoning to use. I don't think I'm going to... Let me guess... Um, no. What did they put on here? Canola, kosher salt. Yeah. It's kind of boring, the recipe. So we're just going to follow along just like that. We're going to put those tomatoes on because I'm curious to see how dark they're going to get too. So I'm going to take this over to the Speedy. All right. Let's place it right in there. Perfect. Go ahead and lower the lid. So first thing is I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to take this top button. We're going to turn it to Rapid cooker, we're going to keep it on the speedy meals. Let me grab the book. Let me zoom in too so you guys can see. All right. Select speedy meals, set temperature to 390. It's set for 390. See, that's, this is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that chicken. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm just going to try it. And we're just going to... Oh, 15 minutes. We got to set time. Got the temp. Oh, I love buttons. And we're gonna hit start. Let's see how long it takes to come up to steam. So I'm gonna show you some of the additions I'm gonna add after the fact. I'm gonna take some of this minced garlic. We're gonna add it right to the pasta in the bottom. We're also gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm getting low on these. We're probably gonna add the rest of this jar because there's not much. It's probably like a quarter cup, a half a cup would be best, but we'll use what we have in the jar. I would just give them a slight chop. Yeah, there's not much left. So I'm going to wait because there's a lot of grease and it gets into the cutting board. Um, and it still hasn't come up to pressure yet. It's been, hold on, let me go to my phone here. It's been six minutes so far. So it took about 15 minutes for, for it to come up to steam. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it was steaming away I'm over here. You guys see that? It's steaming away and it smells like, oh God, it stinks in here. It's the broccoli. <laughs> so we have about five seconds left. Wow, this one just shuts off an alarm, so it's fantastic. All right, let me see if I can get closer here because I'm trying to get a bit closer. You move it over just a bit. Because the extension cord is pretty long, actually. All right, let's open it up. Let's see. We're going to open the lid. Oh, the tomatoes are black. So next time, put them down below. I'm still mixing them with the dish, though. It'll be fine. Chicken, yeah, it's definitely cooked. Yep. Yuppers. Oh, yeah. So chicken's definitely cooked. I'm going to take the chicken out. Just put it on the cutting board. Whoops, because we're going to... Uh, Chop this up. You can slice it to make it really like if you wanted like a more fancier dinner. I would definitely go ahead and slice it, but I prefer to just mix it all in one. I think it tastes better that way. Now, I don't know if it does or not, but put this over here. Yeah, but I think it's going to be fun. It's going to add like a little smoky char flavor to it. <laughs> Let's see if I can take this out. And just tip it like I usually do. Whoa! Spreets around here and toss that tomato in. I know this is basically the recipe that I made the other day. Oh, that's hot. 
Put this in the sink. And let's look what we got here. Oh, wow, this is really soupy. Holy mackerel. Wasn't expecting this to be that soupy. The addition of the broccoli is like super nice. Um, yeah, why don't we turn this on sear saute? Let's go down below here. Yeah, that's like super watery. All right, so let's uh, gotta switch it back over with the knob thingy. Is that sear saute? And high, we don't want high. Let's try four and see what happens. We're just trying to cook some of this moisture off because there's a lot of moisture in here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that garlic because with the sear saute, it's just gonna continue to cook this dish. So I'm gonna add a good, good amount. This is the pre-stuff, so it's not as potent as fresh garlic. Right, so let me chop these sun-dried tomatoes up and I'll be back. All right, so. This is on four and it is really simmering away. Which is gonna help cook that garlic. Yeah, this, is, this looks pretty good, just a bit soupy compared to the last ones. I cut the chicken up while I was waiting. Oops, I'm just gonna pour that right in there. And like the quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I'd probably go ahead and add a half a cup if you had them in the house. Or, you know, remember, you don't have to do anything you can just leave this recipe well enough alone. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the sear saute off. So actually shut the whole machine off. Cause that heat will continue to cook this. This is coming together nice, look at this. Yummy. Like, like I said, you can fancy this up. But like I probably won't get as many views unless I slice the chicken to make it look all pretty. But this is just a quick, easy meal. You can actually slice it up to make it look all pretty for dinner. And then take that chicken that's left over, pop it in here, and just mix it up. I usually make these type of dishes for lunches. Let's try the pasta first off. Mmm, that's good. Sorry, I'm tasting the broccoli now. With the tomatoes and stuff. The broccoli is actually cooked all the way through. Because remember, I didn't use frozen broccoli. I used fresh broccoli that I chopped up myself. So yeah, like even if the pasta, this pasta is actually al dente. Because what I might end up doing, taking that dish and putting it back in there so the pasta cooks a little bit more. For the people that like it al dente, this would be perfect. It's not bad. It's cooked. I'm not saying it's undercooked. It's um just, you know, Super hot. And this is good just as is. If you want to add a little spice, add like a half to one teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. If you want to add a bit of spice. Also, yeah, the flavor is actually pretty, it's really good actually, you know? So, yeah. Now if I remember, I'll have um, Chris taste test it when she gets home from work and videotape that to get her reaction on how it is. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching and yeah, stay tuned for more videos using this Speedy. I really, really like it. It's um, lightweight, which is awesome. It's wider, which I really like. Much lighter than the Smart Lid. I mean, it can't pressure cook. However, oh, you know, another thing I wanted to hit on was the price. The price is right. I was able to get this, I think the regular price is $199, so we'll say $200. Bucks. Then I got 10% off, came to $179. Then with tax, it bumps it back up again. But it's a reasonably priced appliance. I'm going to see what else I can do with it. I mean, I'm just comparing because the Ninja Smart Lid, I think, was like $400, bucks, all said and done. And I'm looking to get the outdoor grill, which you, I'm looking at like four or $500 bucks to get the stand, to get this, to get that. So, yeah. This is, I think, I'm not going to give a definitive thumbs up or thumbs down. Right now, it's a thumbs up. It's fine. Um, I want to make a few more things in it because it seems, yeah, I'm not going to elaborate here. 
Um, stay tuned for more videos of making more recipes and hopefully going over all the functions. Because that's what I like. I was, it was kind of nice just having the one machine because I was able to focus on that one machine and do one of everything, even though I didn't. But this one I think I am. I like this appliance. I do. I really do. So thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned. I'm eating dinner.